guys so today i wanted to do a getting to know your ferret pet smart care guide i already did the petco one so if you are interested in that i will leave it linked in the description box um sorry go be free um but i my, i don't have a pet smart close to me so the closest one's about 40 minutes away and i happen to go down there um and so i grabbed this while i was there i took the opportunity because i want to know if this one's better or worse i honestly didn't think the petco one was that bad it definitely had some missing information but not too much of the information i completely disagreed with um so let's check this out it's only two pages so i'm kind of concerned about that let's just go through it um so getting to know your ferret pet smart care guide so when you open it up this is what you see there's some information a picture of a cage more information and on the back there's a checklist so let's just go through that um the english translation for the scientific name for a ferret is stinky thief they have a very strong musky order odor particularly in unaltered males okay i don't know if that's factual but we'll go with it experience level advanced um i don't necessarily agree with that i don't like to classify animals as like advanced beginner i think if you do your research and you're willing to put in the time and effort that this animal takes anyone can have any animal just know what your limit is so i don't know if i agree with that um i definitely don't think it's an impulse buy animal it's definitely something that you need to do your research on and be prepared for but i don't think they're that hard to take care of um they're really annoying when you're trying to switch them onto raw and they refuse to eat it but um yeah size ferrets can grow up to 20 inches long uh i think i said this in the last one i don't know that seems kind of long but if they're counting their tail i guess um diet ferrets are strict carnivores very true lifespan ferrets can live for approximately nine to seven to nine years that's also true i've heard of ferrets living a little bit longer than that um but i guess that's kind of an average behavior ferrets are diurnal and more active during the day ferrets can live happily in pairs or in groups and can be litter box trained they can sleep soundly even while being picked up and carried around okay so let's dissect this first off i thought diurnal meant active at dusk and dawn which if you've ever met a ferret they're active whenever they feel like it okay gomi's getting picked on so we're gonna hold her what a beautiful woman um here let me get you out of my hair i'll tangle them now we're gonna do this one-handed all righty so you're beautiful gomi you're beautiful um so where were we oh diurnal yeah uh, more active during the day. I mean, I think that they ab adapt to their human's schedule. If I walk into my pet room at 3 in the morning, they're ready to play. If I go in there at 3 in the afternoon, they're ready to play. So I really feel like that is more of them always wanting to be out and enjoying your company. They don't really care when they sleep. However, they do sleep a lot. Um live in pairs or groups they definitely need to be in pairs or groups they are social and they need friends um can be litter box trained i've heard that i'm having a hard time doing it um even the most litter box trained ferrets though still have accidents because they're lazy and will go wherever is most convenient so i do pick up poop off the floor a lot um they can sleep soundly even while being picked up and carried around loki does this um sometimes it's hard for me to wake him up which is terrifying sometimes but all my other ferrets are very light sleepers so um i don't know about that and most of them will not fall asleep if i'm holding them they want to be playing if if i'm out interacting with them so exercise for exercise put ferrets in an escape proof playpen or walk them on a leash i kind of disagree with this um as long as you can safely ferret proof your house or even just a room in your house they can free roam um there's no need for them to be on a leash i would never take any of my ferrets outside if that's what it's suggesting they're too wiggly and squirmy and they can get out of harnesses way too easy and i just would not risk it um because ferrets are not like cats where they can detect where they live if a ferret gets out and gets lost it's just gone um so yeah even i won't even let my ferrets out here if my boyfriend is running to the store or something and will come back randomly because they're just too sneaky and it's not worth the risk to me so um yeah i wouldn't do that uh i guess 
a playpen, but how are you going to have a big enough playpen that's enough fun and enjoyment? I would just say free roam them. Um, I do have a cage that they go in at night and sleep in, but um, yeah. Let them play. Let them have fun. They're born to have fun. Veterinary care. Yearly vaccinations for, vaccinations for rabies and distemper should be discussed with your veterinarian. I like that it says it's not mandatory because I know there is a lot of people that do not choose to get their ferret vaccinated. I chose to because I have such a large business and then I also have the cats. Um, however, it's not necessary if you have a couple ferrets and they're your only pet or if, I don't know, I just, it's not worth the risk to me, so I chose to. Um, so now we're gonna go over the picture. So I will try holding the picture like this so you can see it. So A is the habitat, um, B is the hide, C is the litter pan with recycled paper pellets. That's actually good to note. They cannot use clay litter like uh, animal, like animals, like cats. I use either yesterday's news or feline pine for my ferrets. Um, let's see, next, bedding. Um, you can either, I actually choose not to use bedding because my ferrets are not potty trained and they just ruin fleece. So they have blankets and stuff to cuddle, but in the corners it's just the plain pan because it's easier to wipe up and clean and sanitize. Um, next is a food dish. Yeah, I have one more food dish than I have ferret in each of my levels. And then a water bottle. I disagree. I think they should just have water bowls. Um, water bottles can actually hurt their teeth. Um, water bottle. I talked about that. And then hammock. Yes. My ferrets love hammocks. Some of my ferrets like cuddling up in like soft blankets. Some of them like hammocks. So I give them both options. And make sure you have hammocks that are big enough to support all your ferrets because they do like to cuddle and sleep together. How do I set up a ferret habitat? Your ferret will need a well-ventilated multi-level habitat with at least 24 by 24 by 42.5. Bigger if it's housing multiple ferrets. That is actually, I think, a pretty decent size. Obviously, I would go bigger. If you've seen my video, I have a whole entire wall that's my cage. Um, but as far as, like, care guides... Excuse me, that is rude. As far as care guides go, those dimensions are pretty good. That's like four feet tall, two feet. It's like two feet by two feet by four feet. Um, like I said, obviously bigger is better, especially since it's kind of suggesting that this would be good for one ferret. And even in the care guide, it said they can't live alone. Um, but I'm a little bit surprised. That's kind of good. So a large enough to hold, what? and large enough to hold a food dish, a water bottle, and a hide house. I don't know about the hide house. I've never seen my ferrets go into hide houses. Um, they'd much rather just be sleeping in the hammocks or something, so I don't even put one of those in their tank. They have some on the floor to play with, and they almost never go in them anyways, so I don't think that's necessary. Someone's cuddling up behind me. How cute. Um, the habitat should have separate area for ferrets to exercise, sleep, and use the litter box. My ferrets are buttholes, and they... Um, sleep and poop right next to each other. So I have litter boxes in like every single corner. Um, place the habitat out of direct sunlight in a low humidity area that's between 65 and 75. That is true. I keep my pet room at about 72 year round. And in the summer, I just put a bunch of um, fans in there to help cool it down because I don't have AC. So we have a window one. Um, next, place a triangular litter pan in the corner of the habitat far Far from your ferret's food and water, fill it with litter made from recycled paper pellets. Um, first off, my ferrets don't use the triangle litter boxes. The only reason I have them in certain corners is to get them to not go poo-poo there. Um, I actually have kitten litter boxes for them. But yes, about the pellets, I either use Yesterday's News or Feline Pine. Both of those are fine. Uh, the Feline Pine does break down faster, so you need to make sure you're changing it more frequently. Um, but it's a little bit cheaper, so kind of depends. Um, clean hides regularly and get each ferret a hammock or tent to, for sleeping or lounging. That's true. I have like a thousand hammocks in there and I just rotate them out. I have a clean laundry bin. I take out the old, dirty ones, throw them in the wash, put the clean ones in, and then I just cycle through. Um, uh, what should I feed my ferret? Pelleted ferret food. This is 95% of your ferret's diet. Keep 
a bowl three quarters full all time. Yes, I do say that they should be offered food all the time. Um, I do think raw is more healthy. However, if you've ever had a ferret, you know how difficult they can be trying to get them to do anything that they're not used to doing. So I actually give my ferrets a, like an organ mix um, once a week and then um, they have their food all the time and they have egg every once in a while too. So we're slowly working on it. They don't eat too much and it's definitely not enough to supplement their main diet, but um, yeah. Water, a fresh water bottle. Again, no water bottle, stay away from that. Ferret treats once a week. These treats can be great for training and should be used sparingly. I mean, good treats like freeze dried chicken or something, I don't see a problem with giving more than that, but definitely don't only give your ferrets treats. Um, when should I contact the veterinarian? Um, in addition to regularly scheduled appointments, contact your small animal veterinarian. If you notice the following signs, cloudy, sunken, swollen eyes, hair loss, patches, lethargia, weight loss, not eating, drinking, sneezing, difficulty urinating, diarrhea, discolored droppings, true, 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 weakness in hind or back legs. All of this is true. Um, but yeah, definitely if your ferret's not acting ferrety, take them to the vet because there's something wrong. Um, shopping checklist. This basically just goes over everything that... We already talked about so the habitat or pen size 24 by 24 by 42 or larger multi-level home preferred true that fortified ferret pellets i like that they didn't give a brand or anything because i do think there are better pellets than others and i don't think uh pet smart sells the better pellets obviously i do feed partial kt um but that is just to keep uh gomez's blood sugar up because the y song doesn't have enough sugar in it which is like the opposite of what we're trying to do but for her in particular um food dish yes i would get one that clips on the side and has a removable crock because it's so annoying to untwist and twist they get stuff messy so fast you need to be able to take it off easy and wash it every day a uh, water bottle nope stay away from that recycled paper bedding yeah that's fine um litter pan and pelleted paper litter um yeah that's fine hammock or tent yeah hard plastic or cloth toys my ferrets only have cloth toys um if you start noticing them being teared or ripped or anything just take them away and throw them away um treats yeah harness and leash not necessary so i actually don't think this is that bad i think i said that about the petco one too obviously there's a couple things i disagree with but overall i think i agreed with more in this than in the other one um obviously this is just a quick snippet and if someone was using this only for getting a ferret i don't know if that would be a good idea actually i know it wouldn't be a good idea but it's not a horrible place to start if you're walking to the store and you see it and you're like hmm, i wonder what it's like to get a ferret at least this gives some basic information and you can look up on youtube or whatever after that so i'm not completely dissatisfied with this um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!